Look, whether the comments are racist or not, I'm sticking by my ruling from earlier this week that this is a blunder for the Clinton campaign. They've denounced her comments, but they certainly didn't stop her from going out and defending them when she was still part of the campaign. And I just can't see how this helps the Clinton campaign in a Democratic primary, Pat. Well, I don't think it does help the Clinton campaign, uh, but I don't think it helps the Obama campaign now either because... Hillary, I mean, uh, Geraldine Ferraro is an icon of American woman. She's a heroine to feminists all over. And the fact that she's been driven out of this campaign and humiliated for something I think was utterly inoffensive, a simple statement of fact, I think is going to hurt Obama in his effort to try to bring the party together. And so I think it's uh, both part, uh, campaigns have been damaged, and the Democratic Party's been so damaged. So, Rachel, hero to feminists everywhere. I think you probably consider yourself a feminist. It's hard to, I, as much as I love Pat, and Pat, as much as you and I spend a lot of time on TV together, it's hard to hear you define the icons of feminism, I have to say. I don't think that people are going to be mad about Geraldine Ferraro um, getting kicked out of the Clinton campaign for this. I think what she said was patently ridiculous. It not only was over the line, it was ridiculous. Like, he's, he's won some sort of black privilege, privilege lottery that we didn't know about before. The fact that she wasn't drummed out of the campaign sooner is the only scandal but, here. What she's been doing, Kelly, is she's been trying to say... Tell me whether it's true. Uh, in essence, she's been saying, look, she's, we know she said similar comments about whether Jesse Jackson. Whether to be born a black man no. in America based on all the statistics, that's patently false. She, so on but, that, she, no. No, but, she, but her comments are that it's she made true. the same comments about herself being a woman, that she never would have become vice president in 1984. Right, you define your experience as a white female in America and sort of leave everyone else's experience as part of, you know, one of the minority groups in this country to them. And I, and I think what, what's really, re the, the real crime in all this was not the initial statement, it was how she behaved afterwards. You know, people tend to give the benefit of the doubt to allow people to explain the context and what have you. And to come back and say that she's the victim after making such, a, it was like she inserted one foot in her mouth, Dan, and was so hungry she had to go for the second. Here's, here's, here's more of what she said uh, tonight on uh, Nightly news. I have spent 40 years fighting discrimination. I mean, it, it, is a, it is so hurtful. They had a campaign of over 100 negative emails, phone calls to my office. They actually got in touch with the CEO of the firm that they thought I was still with and urged him to fire me, which is, I mean, it was crazy. Rachel, I mean, when I talked to Geraldine Ferraro today, she was basically telling me that they have been playing the race card, the Obama camp, again and again. Uh, in, in the context of this campaign. She also cited the example of Bill Clinton in South Carolina, et cetera. Um, whether you agree with her or not, probably not the best way to help Hillary Clinton no. um, in the Democratic primary. If you, it's almost like you can't get more fundamental than this. If you say that a person's achievements should be questioned on the basis of their race, that he got some sort of, some, some sort of secret free pass that all black men get at birth in America, and then say that the target of that accusation is the person who played the race card, that's it's, 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 it's logically impossible. It actually makes no sense at all. I mean, there's, there's no grounds on which this can be defended as being Obama's fault. Well, it just, it doesn't even make sense. Go ahead, Pat. Look, uh, if Barack Obama thinks there's no correlation between the fact he's an African-American and his career has been so spectacular, he would be as delusional as George W. Bush saying the fact he's I president of the United States has not, I don't care whether you do or not, I had nothing to do with the fact that George that the first George Bush was president of the United States. Look, Barack Obama got 91% of the African-American vote in Mississippi. He was as a state senator given the spectacular honor of keynoting the Democratic Convention. Does anyone think that had nothing to do with the fact that he's an African-American? Pat, I'm, li I'm literally having to stop Kelly yeah. and Rachel well, from screaming. Go. Let them go. Kelly, Dan, go ahead. It's Pat, important that they go. He didn't even start securing the majority of the black vote until you got to South Carolina. So to just make this blatant assumption, this generalization that he was just winning all of the black vote because of on the strength of being black is right, ludicrous. No, and no, to compare to someone point. like Barack Obama, who's right. a self-made individual, to someone like George W. Let Bush, who you're correct. Hang on, Pat. Hang on. Let me he wrote his accomplishments on the strength of his yeah, father's should, name. Yeah. It's just not even comparable. Well, it's so insulting. Right. And I'm, I'm actually not surprised to hear you make such a correlation. What conservative wouldn't? I mean, this is so but, typical. But, but, look, look. Uh, in Iowa and New Hampshire, there aren't that many black folks. He skipped Michigan. The first big contest was South Carolina. Black? Hold it. There are no black first people there, but he was black. Let her Shut Let her up for a second, please. Excuse me, don't like that, Pat. That's inappropriate. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Really inappropriate. wait, wait, wait. Stop. Everyone stop. The first stop. contest was South Carolina, and he got 76% of the black vote. Case closed. He wasn't winning the majority. Then you're forgetting all the states that came before that, Pat. He was what not over... 
Nationally, in the national polls, he was not winning the majority of black voters. What in all the national polls, he was splitting the votes with Hillary South Clinton. Carolina. So you're factually wrong. Hang on, hang on. You're factually wrong. Let me just jump in here. First of all, I would just say, as a matter of procedure here, Pat, I've been on television with you a million times. I've never heard you right. tell anybody to shut up before. That was absolutely, completely right. ridiculous well, of you. Second of all, tell me about how the black vote explains Obama's win in Utah. Uh, he's no, he's. I am not saying that's the only thing. For heaven's sakes, neither did she. He's like done that. a he's done a tremendous campaign, but the indispensable to his success is these enormous numbers he's rolling up in the South among African Americans and in every other yeah, state. That's that's again, that's that's just again. This what race any, are you watching? Right. Yeah. We, no one says that's the only thing. It, you if, know, if she had said, I'd like disagree that. with you're her. You're saying he's only winning because he's black I'm and black people want to vote for him. I'm not saying only. No one has said only. It's an attribute in this race. And as, right. as Joe Biden said, He's got a storybook. Yeah, well, that's why. Right. Out you know. try being a black man for a day and see how well that works out for you. I'm sure you'll have a, a lovely time in America. Just read the biographies of the previous black presidents. All right, all right, all right. All right.